Hi guys, I'm doing the next, I'm doing my review for, um, the Book of Mormon. I recently saw it. Um, I saw it, did, I didn't recently see it. I saw it the 1st of February, 13 days ago, and 14 days ago. And I haven't done my review because I'm so lazy. Um, I finally saw the Book of Mormon, guys. Um, I did standing room for this. Um, yeah, standing room. And I sat for like 30, I, um, standed up for 30 minutes and then they just moved me. It wasn't even intermission. It was like, they just got to Africa by the time I moved. Um, rearranging my camera. Okay. So the Book of Mormon by the creators of South Park and Avenue Q. It was great. I loved it. Um. The Book of Mormon is about these two Mormon missionaries called Elder Price and Elder Cunningham. And they are about to leave for their uh, missions. And Elder Price is like this very, he's like the best elder. He's like the role model of all the elders. He's like the best one. He's kind of perfect. And he just wants to go to Orlando for his mission. And things don't end up working out for him, and he has to go instead to Uganda. And Uganda, it's this, like, very poor, um, poor, it has this, um, has AIDS. They're battling through AIDS, um, to things like dysentery. It's just, it's just so bad there. They have this general called General Butt-Fucking Naked, and, because he likes to kill people, but fucking naked. So, um, yeah, he, um, it's just such a bad, like, place to be, and we have people in Africa who are very, like, optimistic, like Nabalungi, and she just wants to go to South Aleka City, and it's a wonderful story. I loved it. Um, so yeah, they go to Africa, and they find out all these bad things, and, No offense to all, like, the Book of Mormon lovers, but I honestly think that Elder Price is slightly narcissistic because he's really thinking about himself, and all he wants is to go to Orlando, and he actually leaves his mission companion, and I know he's not the best mission companion, but, like, two years won't hurt you with him, because I just, that's my opinion of him. I still love the book, uh, the, the musical, though. Um... That's my opinion of his character. Um, what was I going to say? So, yeah. So, we find out that Elder Cunningham has this habit, and it's lying. He lies a lot. So, he ends up lying to the Africans so that they could fall. They could want to be inside the religion, and they change the story of Joseph. He changes the story of Joseph Smith so that the story of Joseph Smith would be slightly more relevant or so that it seems like if Joseph Smith went through some of the stuff that the Africans went through. Um, so yeah. And it's, it, that's basically the story. There's not much to it. Um, it's just how, um, how they live in Africa, how they change all these people to more Mormonism. And, yeah, it was a great show. Um, my Elder Price and my Elder Cunningham was Nick Rulu and Ben Platts. And Ben Platts, wow, he's just amazing. Like, he was great. He has, like, this, um, he's, like, his, I never seen any other, uh, any other Elder Cunningham. To me, he was, like, very flamboyant because he would do, like, this, hair flip every now and then, and it was amazing, he was great, um, his voice is very, very different compared to all the others, the, all the other Elder Cunninghams, like, all the other Elder Cunninghams were, like, very, like, nasally, and he was, like, her, and he was, like, um, this is the time to just watch me go, the other people are, like, just, what? yeah, he's not nasally at all, he was great, he has, like, a very deep voice. Not a deep voice, but 
Very different singing voice than all the other Elder Cunninghams. Um, Nick Relu, he was good. Great. No. It's like in between good and great. I honestly feel like if Elder Price isn't the main character, because Elder Price doesn't get all of the laughs. Um, Elder Cunningham gets all the laughs. He's the funny character. Um, but he was just great. I loved it. Um, Saisha Mercado played Nabalungi. She was really, really good. Um, she, I think she has a better voice than Nikki M. James. Maybe not as good acting, because I've seen clips of Nikki M. James acting, but she has a really, really good voice. She's from American Idol or something. I never, I watched that show, but she, I guess she was like in the beginning seasons. Um, Matt Lawyer was Elder McKinley, and he, he was hilarious. He was great. I never, I really wanted to see Rory O'Malley, but I couldn't, but this guy is great. Um, and Michael Potts was, um, uh, Mafala Hatimbi, and he, she is a chick to Um, he was great. Um, yeah, that's basically all the leads in the show. Um, the general was played, hold up. The general was played by um, Brian Tyree Henry. And, yeah. This show is really, really good. I feel like if... I don't know why they call it, like, a white ensemble and a black ensemble. Because they, like, unite at the end. So, it was great. I just love this show. It's... Um... The set. I want to talk about the set. The set, basically, in the beginning, it's, like... Backdrops, backdrops in the beginning, and then you get to like the real set, the African set. Um, I don't know who I never looked at it. Who were the other like, like the competition in the year of these Tonys? I feel like if I've seen better sets. Um, I think it's just way too overrated because it was good. Don't get me wrong, but it wasn't my favorite. Not at all. Um. This sounds so, like, mean of me. Oh, my God. No, it was great. I loved it. It's one of my favorites, just not my favorite. Um, Where was I? Oh, the lighting is amazing. The set is good. The music is, wow. Like, I didn't know these guys could write. I never was a South Park fan, but damn, these guys are great. Um, my favorite song in the whole show would have to be, um, Salta Le Casiti, or I Believe, like, it's just such a beautiful, those are two beautiful songs, um, the show is amazing, um, there, not much to it, um, just see the show, it's amazing, try to get your hands on tickets, cause I heard they like sold out to 2017 or something, it's horrendous, it's ludicrous, but, yeah, it was a great show. Go see it, guys. Um, The Book of Mormon at the Eugene O'Neill Theater on 49th Street. Yeah, I feel like if I've left out so many things, um, this video is extra short, but... Bye, guys. Um, Check out my Thoughts on the Big Fish cast album video. Um, Bye.